beautiful people. This is Angie Sanchez. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I am a quantum healing hypnosis practitioner. I facilitate past life regression sessions. And during my sessions, we communicate with the higher self, the oversoul self, the all-knowing self, the subconscious self, whatever you want to call it, but that part of us that um, knows everything. So that's a little bit about me for those that are new to my channel. This video is going to be around what to do when you're not feeling inspired. just in this spot recently where um, my time and my attention had to be focused on some family stuff going on and I just didn't feel inspired to share content or to create content I felt like it wasn't coming from an authentic place so I do want to address that when you're not feeling inspired and there's just all this other stuff going on, honor that. Honor whatever it is that's happening, whatever it is that does need your attention. Because I believe that in today's day and age, our focus is always on what we're putting out there for others to see. Yet there's so much going on behind the photo, right? Yes. <laughs> I know I have experienced that in the last few weeks and you know, there's nothing wrong with being authentic. There's nothing wrong with being true to who you are and to where you are. So honor what's going on in your life. If you're not feeling inspired, just kind of bake in that. Even though, I mean, I know I didn't upload videos for the last three weeks. I know that I felt guilty about that and that's okay. I allowed myself to feel that. I allowed myself to process all of that. And just yesterday, actually, I was sitting in at the dentist, oddly enough, and I just, everything just kind of clicked. All of the inspiration started aligning for whatever reason, maybe because while I was sitting in that chair, I didn't have anything else to do but to just let everything come in versus always being busy or always thinking about other things happening or always thinking about how I can help other people, whether it's my work or family or friends, whatever it is. So I guess my moment of alignment was that those two hours in the chair at the dentist. So find your grounding space, whether that's meditation, um, reading, writing, journaling. But I think the biggest lesson I've learned from this experience was don't be so hard on yourself and take a break if you need to. Um, I know that sometimes I personally don't believe in breaks. I'm like, no, go, 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 go. But there just is no growth in go, go, go. It's like you're learning, you're learning, you're learning, but you don't have that moment to take a step back and to look at the bigger picture. So now that I've had that opportunity, I am here, I am back. My message to you in this video is Honor where you are. If you're in a rut and you're not feeling inspired, live in that. Like, let that soak in because I do believe that's where a lot of growth happens. That's where a lot of our connection to others happen. Instead of others thinking we're this great, invincible person who's always doing things and always creating, know that everyone has their low moments and everyone has things that they don't see behind a photo things that they don't see behind a video so i want to leave you guys with that i want to thank you so much for clicking on this video um, do like subscribe and share this with a friend and don't be so hard on yourself that was one of my biggest messages to myself this these last few weeks so don't be so hard on yourself and there are people that do need your time and your attention and sometimes you need to prioritize that and when you do feel inspired when you are ready to create again get back on it and pick up where you left off so I'll leave you guys with that I thank you so much I love reading your comments so please comment below on your biggest takeaway from this video thank you guys so much and I'll catch you all next time see you later namaste